In this example, we begin with 0.05 molar of pyruvic acid and 0.07 molar of sodium pyruvate. Our Ka for our acid is 3.1 times 10 to the negative 3. We want to find the pH of our buffer solution once we mix these two guys. There are, there are two methods we can use to find the pH of the buffer solution. Our first method involves the Henderson-Hasselbach formula. And if you haven't th seen this formula before or you don't know where it comes from, check out the link below. The second method is to simply use the Ka. So let's do the first method first. So our pH is equal to pKa plus log of concentration of conjugate base divided by the concentration of conjugate acid. This equals, remember, pKa is simply negative log of Ka. So this equals negative log of Ka. And our Ka is 3.1 times 10 to negative 3. So we plug it into here plus log of this guy over this guy. We get 0.07 over 0 0.05 approximately equals, we plug this into our calculator and we get 2.65. So that's our pH. Now let's find using the same pH using the Ka. So remember our equation for conjugate acid and conjugate base is conjugate acid plus our water gives us conjugate base plus our hydronium ion. So, let's write the equilibrium equation for this guy. So, Ka, our acid ionization constant, is equal to the concentration of hydronium times the concentration of pyruvate divided by the concentration of pyruvic acid. Now, initially, we begin with some amount of this guy and some amount of this guy, right? We don't have any of this guy, or we approximate this guy to be zero. At the end of our equilibrium, this guy is x. And since this and this is a ratio of 1 to 1, this guy must be x too. So the concentration of this guy increases by x. The concentration of this guy increases by x. And the concentration of this guy decreases by x because this guy dissociates into this guy. So, we get our hydronium concentration we represent as x, our pyruvate concentration we represent as 0 0.07 plus x, because we begin with this concentration, divide by, since we begin with this amount of pyruvic acid, and then some dissociates into the conjugate base, we say that it's 0 0.05 minus x. Now, we approximate because the x is much smaller than 0 0.5 or 0 0.07 or 0 0.05 um, we approximate this to be 0 0.07 x divided by 0 0.05 equals our Ka so equals 3.1 times 10 to negative 3 we bring the 0 0.5 over then we divide by 0 0.07 and we get x equals 0 0.00221 and notice that this is indeed much smaller than 0.05 or 0.075. So our approximation was accurate. And now, to find the pH, we basically plug in the concentration into our, PA, into our negative log, and we get negative log 0.00221 approximates to 2.65. And this equals this guy. So this is two ways, two methods that you can use to calculate the pH of a buffer solution.